Hey, uh, my name is Francis and recently I've been in the mood to just piss myself off with something. You know, like everyone does every now and then, right? Tell me you're doing the same thing. Please. Anyway, looking through YouTube I found this channel. Who is Human TV? Let's check together. Human TV is a YouTube pranks comedy channel featuring funny content. If you have to write your contents funny then... Yeah. I'm always thinking about the next big prank idea to make you smile, or another social experiment to spread positivity around the world and wake others up about the issues with our society, about the homeless, racism, and more. He honestly sounds like a superhero to me. I can't wait to watch his V. Oh. Okay. So I. So I watched it all because. I really hate myself and it's all garbage. <laughs> but there's this one type of videos he makes that is just straight up harmful. I'm talking about his gold digger pranks. What's up guys, Who Man here and I'm back with a new video, but this time I'm trying something new. There has been so many comments from you guys saying, hey Who Man, try gold digger pranks. Along with my friend Nick, who I actually met when I pranked him in a shampoo prank. I'll put a link. Okay, enough bullshitting, let's just start the video. Looks like we're in for a ride. So the idea is really simple. Human approaches the girl in his poor outfit, tries to land a date with her. Hey, excuse me. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey, my name is Human. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. I was uh, walking by, I just got a little drink and I noticed you and I, and I thought you were very beautiful. So I wanted to come say hi. Um, thank you. Um, I'm just in a hurry. I'm about to work out. Oh, no worries. Before I work out. Okay, so. I just want to come say hi really fast. Are you down to hang out sometimes, maybe? You know what? Um, I'm married, so... Oh, you are? Yeah. I mean, how, uh, how serious is the marriage? Yeah. I mean, do you want to be like friends and just get coffee or something? No, no, I'm married. You know, my husband wouldn't like that. Come on, so. we'll, just, we'll just be friends. No, no, well, thanks. I'm good, right. but no thank worries. you. No worries. You have a good day. Take care. Whatever. And his friend shows up. Listen, man, $117 million for an island and it doesn't even have a yacht dock? Nah. No, I don't, dude, I don't buy shit no more. Look at the way he's parking. I'm sick and tired of this crap. This bullshit. This excuse. What a dipshit. Hey, how are you? Hi. Listen, you look beautiful. I saw you from across the parking lot. I just oh, had to say hi. Thank you. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, it's good to meet you, Ashley. Are you married or you have a boyfriend or something? Nobody fucking does that. This is literally his second question. <laughs> hey, what's your name? I'm Francis. Do you have an owner? A husband? Ashley, however, is not faced by the question whatsoever. Tells him that she doesn't have a husband and is willing to Netflix and chill. But as our friend is about to seal the deal, it turns out that it's, it's human that's the owner of the car and this dude's boss. My jacket? Yeah, I'm glad for you. I'm sick of wearing this beat up old jacket, yo. Okay, let's imagine this prank is real for a moment. What the fuck is he doing? My jacket? Yeah, I'm glad for you. I'm sick of wearing this beat up old jacket, yo. You're his boss, huh? I am his boss. I talked talk to you. Why was he wearing this jacket and hat in the first place? She's wearing workout clothes. It's not like it's cold. I got to go, so. Hold on, hold on, let me get these thick things off. And pants underneath. Why is he throwing them on the ground? What the fuck am I watching? Hey, so this is your car. This is my car, what? yeah. And now it's finally time to expose this female and show the world that women are fickle, evil and shallow. Well, you have a uh, good day with your husband. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm actually, it's really not that serious. He's actually out of town, um, yeah. Who's on, who's on in town? My husband, he's oh. not even in town right now. Oh, he's not? No. But I mean, I don't think he would like it if we hung out though, right? No, you know what? Or get he's, jealous. He's older and he goes out of town a lot. Oh, he does? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I get a picture of you really fast? Oh, okay. Oh, good. What's the picture for? I just want to show my friends what a gold digger looks like. <laughs> you have a nice day. There is something really sad about the idea that the guy rents a Lamborghini, pays an actress and then make savage jokes. I'm not a loser. You know why? 
Because I'm a savage. Yeah! Something really just sad. And that is how you catch a gold licker. So what do you guys think? You really want my thoughts on this? Okay, let's get a little serious then. So this is just a really disgusting way of degrading someone and picturing women as shallow and ready to cheat on their partners whenever a guy in a Lambo shows up. And some of you might say, Frank, this shit is so fake, there's no way anyone would take it seriously. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la. You know why? Because 90% of his audience is children. And kids is this very scary group of viewers because kids, they don't have their own opinion. And if you show them something like this, it's gonna affect them. And it might affect them for years. Kids believe what you tell them. You want examples? Hmm. But hopefully there's there's not that many of them. It's it's just like one. He maybe just made one. He made 13 of them. And they're all the same. Expensive car? It's Lamborghini Huracan. Check. Girl in a bikini? I wanna talk to her. Check. Girl has an owner, husband. I don't know why I keep mistaking these. My name is Who Man. Um, Yours? I just think my boyfriend probably wouldn't want me giving my name out to strangers. My boyfriend probably wouldn't want me giving my name out to strangers. I'm surprised she's not on a leash. And so on, so on. It's the same pattern. But the devil lies in details. So Who Man reaches for the peak of his creativity. And he starts giving the girls the golden shovel. For this video, I actually have a shovel made out of gold for the gold digger girl that I'll find. And I can't complain much though, because thanks to that we got the scene with probably the worst acting I've ever seen. Hey! Oh my god, this... Are you freaking serious? You really want to put area? I'm gonna... Oh my god, this... Yo, can, can, can you... Are you kidding me? Um, I'm calling the cops. Yo, guys, oh my god, I'm calling the cops. Okay, okay, calm down. Hey, calm down. The actual funny part of this video is that then she just jogs away like nothing happened. Did you get her face? How would he not get her face? She jogged towards the camera at the beginning of the video. But Human is not only a fantastic prankster, he's also a fantastic friend. I'm standing here with my boy Kevin David, who's another fellow YouTuber, and today we're putting his girlfriend to the gold digger test. So, it's the same video for the tenth time, but this Kevin dude, he seems a, uh, he seems like a cool dude. I wonder what content he's making. Okay, go. Oh no. Well, that's a big mm -mm, no, no, no. from me, dude. So that pretty much wraps it up for his videos, but there's this one part that I don't think we should miss, and it's the comment section. Why people think this is real? Married girl stretching on a parking lot. Oh, This has got to be the worst explanation of why something's fake I've ever heard. It's like looking at this and saying, guys, th this is not a medieval night. They, they didn't wear belts like this in medieval ages. Not authentic. Fake. Do more, please. I love watching them. Imagine being on a date and, you know, it's going really well and you find out that you both watch YouTube. Oh, hey, I watch YouTube too. Uh, what channels do you watch? Oh, you know, pretty standard. I like watching Casey Neistat. I watch Peter McKinnon. I love PewDiePie. I think it's really funny. What do you watch? I watch Gold Digger pranks. Please love me. Do more gold digger pranks. My mom is even enjoying watching you. <laughs> Can you actually imagine a situation like this when you show your mom this? What's up? And she's like... Yeah, boy. If your child ever shows you something like this, just beat the fuck. Just leave them in a the supermarket. I don't think it can be safe anymore. 
I'm always thinking about the next big prank idea to make you smile, or another social experiment to spread positivity around the world. Then close your fucking channel. Honestly, YouTube is such an amazing place where you can post stuff from livestream of Beast Nest through unfunny and unoriginal content. to tech tutorials made by people from India. So don't waste your time making harmful garbage like this guy. Instead, make unfunny videos, like me. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow me on my social media, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe. <laughs>